Hey guys, it's Tyler, and I'm doing a quick update here. Um, lots of stuff that I did. Uh, first off, we'll uh, come over here and do uh, these long beards. They're all completed and have one side of them primed. I haven't gotten the other ones done. As you can see, I'll pull one up here. Uh, I, here's the extra beard that I had on here, and there's a little tie thing that I also put in with green stuff. Hopefully you can see that pretty well. And uh, so this side obviously doesn't have uh, black spray paint on it yet, but this side does. So I'm still working on uh, getting that done. Finish that up. Also, on the aeronautical ship, I uh, got this uh, the other side of the front painted, as you can see. There's the purple and then the silver with it reversed. The back is like not even really started yet I mean that one side has some purple on it but that's it so I really like how it turned out I mean the swapping of the colors was pretty cool idea i glad I thought of that and then also the last one was that I bought the uh, the ogre box set so that came with I have no idea what any of these guys are called so I'm not even going to attempt to name them but they're all really sweet. Uh, I really bought them because I've always wanted to paint them. Uh, you got a little dude on here. That's pretty sweet on top of the standard. My favorite guy would have to be this guy. Put him in better light because he's got chain mail on his face, which is pretty awesome. Plus, little spike things on his sword. Um. I mean, for the amount of stuff you get, it's a pretty good deal. It was 84 bucks at my local uh, Hobby Town USA. Uh, I think it was normally 90, but Hobby Town gives a little discount on everything. Not sure, not sure exactly how much. I'll put some still pics of everything um, on uh, after this video, so you can see it all in closer detail. Uh, I'll probably put one of each individual, like, actual ogre guy, not these guys, because there's 24 of them, and I don't really like them too much, but these guys especially I'll do, because lots of sweet little details in there that I can't really capture with the uh, video mode on the camera, and uh, probably not going to do individuals of the dwarves, because there's 16 of them, and I don't feel like doing all of them, because they're pretty small. But, yeah, here's the still pics. Also, guys, forgot about this, but I finished the uh, painting of the troll from the Battle of Skull Pass thing. Uh, here you see him completed. Uh, he's on his nice little scenic base. I added sand and static grass because I didn't really want to use the texture that was on there. So I added my own sand. And then the static grass has the little extras. The dwarf shield down there, that was already on there. And then that little statue up there, that was also on there. He's, it's an interesting statue. goes with the... Uh, little terrain piece that came with Valve for Skull Pass. Uh, I remember looking at the picture uh, for the troll and uh, 
liking like the actual design of them where he had like the lighter skin color here and then the darker on the back but when I was painting them I didn't really look at that I just sort of went like just kind of went for it and knowing that I wanted a lighter color here so I did that and then also to lighten up this is actually a dark angels green and then to lighten that up because that's the only green that I used on this entire model I used bleached bone instead of skull white because I wanted it to have a little bit more pale appearance rather than just kind of light so that's what I did then I painted all the little icons and stuff like that from the dwarves on there um, all these little like bone things sticking out that's using uh, bleached bone and brown ink uh, eyes are blood red uh, to do the base it was the sand and then brown ink everywhere and then little dabs of glue and then static grass for the shield you can't really see it in the video but it's like kinda beat up so I painted it blue like uh, all the rest of my dwarf shields and stuff then I took mithril silver and kinda did like some scratches over it to make it look a bit, a little bit more worn and stuff uh, I don't even know if you'll be able to see it in the pictures that I'll put up uh, just cause it's kind of a small detail I don't know. Okay, after this one, there will be the uh, the pictures of this guy. So, here's these pictures.